Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of year again. Halloween Horror Night speculation season is in full swing. The leader in Halloween Horror Night speculation, Horror Night Nightmares, just released their spec map for this year. In today's video, we're going to be diving right into it. Now, I just want to say right off the bat that everything that we talk about in today's video is just rumor and speculation. Take everything that I say in today's video with a grain of salt. Absolutely nothing has been confirmed yet for this year's event. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and let's go ahead and take a look at version one of the 2024 speculation map for Halloween Horror Nights. As you guys can see from this map, we currently have 10 haunted houses speculated, five scare zones and two shows. We're gonna be getting into those in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and start at the very front of the park and make our way clockwise. The very first haunted house that we're going to see is at the front of the park nestled right in between the Universal Studios store and the Despicable Me Minion Mayhem ride. Last year this haunted house was Blood Moon Dark Offerings and this year on the speculation map we have a map of Latin America. So we can see all of Mexico and South America. So the rumors that I have been hearing for this haunted house have been ranging from generic jungle haunted house all the way to us getting our own version of the Monstros haunted house that we saw at Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood last year. Florida getting their own version of Monstros is honestly one of the best case scenarios for me because I absolutely loved that house last year. It was definitely one of my top haunted houses from the Hollywood event last year. And personally, I can't really think of anything else that this haunted house would be they are showing us a picture of latin america all of that is latin america so what do you guys think about that rumor monstros possibly coming to halloween horror nights here in orlando that would be really cool next up we're coming up to the music plaza stage this is going to be the haunted house in soundstage 22 and you can see there's a little movie reel next to the icon in this image so whatever haunted house is going to be here probably is going to be based off of a movie and over here you can see a skull with some fangs so my thoughts on this and the thoughts of many other folks out there in the community is that we all think that this is going to be the universal monsters haunted house for this year and we all think that it's possibly going to have a heavy emphasis on dracula now over the last couple of years minus last year dracula has had a pretty good presence inside those haunted houses but he's never really had a house dedicated to him so who knows this might be a haunted house that's dedicated to Dracula's story, but also something that we've been hearing in the rumor mill is that because Epic Universe is opening next year with a dark universe land based around the Universal Monsters, we really think that Universal Studios is going to take the opportunity this year to use Halloween Horror Nights to explain the lore of the Dark Universe land. Dark Universe is already going to be a horror based land. We do know that there is going to be a horror themed attraction inside the land, and I think that that would be a great opportunity if the haunted house was just dark universe and featured all the monsters that we're going to be seeing in that land. Moving deeper into the park, let's go ahead and talk about the next haunted house on the speculation map. We have an image of a Cadillac logo. Now, for those of you guys who aren't in the know, the vehicle that the Ghostbusters drive, Ecto-1, is a Cadillac. One of the earliest rumors that we got for this year's event, spanning a couple of months ago even, before this speculation map even came out, was that Ghostbusters was going to make a return appearance at this year's event. And it makes complete and total sense because we have Ghostbusters Afterlife releasing in theaters later this year. Actually, later this month, actually. It's March, it comes out in March. Yeah, we have a new Ghostbusters movie coming out this month. And people think that either this haunted house is going to be based entirely around Afterlife, or it's going to be based around around the Ghostbusters movie that we got a couple of years ago and this one, kind of like a combination of the two. We've also heard rumors that this Ghostbusters house might actually be based off of the OG Ghostbusters trilogy. It may feature scenes from Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Either way, it is heavily speculated that we are going to get a Ghostbusters house at Halloween Horror Nights this year. I really hope we do. That would be awesome because one of my favorite haunted houses from years ago was Ghostbusters. That house was so well done and I'd love to see them make a return appearance. Now when the speculation map first released a couple of days ago, I had a really hard time figuring out this image and I actually needed to wait for the community to really pinpoint what this image is and what it relates to. You can see that there's not a film reel next to it, so it's going to be an original property haunted house. And finally, folks figured it out. 
So last year at the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store, it was based around a comic book. You are stepping into the world of one of the comics of the Tribute Store, and that little skull can be seen on the cover of some of the comic books that were being sold in the store. Are we going to be getting an original property haunted house expanding on the lore of that Tribute Store? It is assumed and rumored that we are going to be getting a haunted house, kind of expanding on this, and it may be a comic book themed haunted house. And because the skull is two-tone black and white, it might be an all black and white themed haunted house. So it might not be a current age comic book, but it might be like an all-timey black and white comic book. I think that that would be really cool. The next haunted house is rumored to be in Soundstage 24B, and we have an image of a lollipop. Now, the very first thing that came to my mind when I saw this lollipop, or sucker, depending on where you're from, is Major Sweets. Now, it's not uncommon for Halloween Horror Nights to take a scare zone concept and expand it and give it its own dedicated haunted house. They've done it several times over the last couple of years, the most recent one being Dead Man's Wharf. That started off as a scare zone and then they expanded it into its own haunted house that ended up being my favorite haunted house of the year. I can't remember if it won house of the year that year, but either way, it was a really solid house and one of my favorites. So if they did want to expand on the lore of Major Suites and turn it into its own haunted house, maybe taking us into the Major Suites factory and it's like all demented and you know seeing how some of the candy is made and what's put into it to possess these kids and make them turn on their families in the neighborhood, I think that that would be really cool. So we can count on either Major Sweets making an appearance or possibly just a generic haunted house themed around a chocolate factory a la Willy Wonka. Who knows, a demented Willy Wonka house would actually be pretty cool. I'm all in on that. Moving on into the park even further, we have the Fast and Furious Q Haunted House, which is labeled as an unknown IP. So either we don't have any concrete evidence yet on what this haunted house is going to be, or they really want to keep it under wraps. Who knows? But for me personally, historically, they have thrown in Blumhouse property houses into that location. Typically, that location doesn't have the best haunted houses, so... Who knows? Moving on further down the park, in between the Fear Factor Theater and Men in Black, we have the entrance to another haunted house, which is going to be in a sprung tent. Universal Studios is actually in the process of building two new sprung tents at the back of their property. So this is going to be possibly a brand new haunted house location that we can look forward to. And what we have here is a volume symbol with a slash through it. And right next to that, we have a film reel. So this is going to be based off of an existing intellectual property. Now, the first thing that came to my mind and the first thing that came to practically everyone else's mind when they saw this was A Quiet Place. We do know that there is a third Quiet Place movie releasing this year starring Lupita Nyong'o, so that would make complete and total sense to have a haunted house tie-in with that movie. But another rumor that I've been hearing that's actually got some credibility behind it is another Silent Hill haunted house. Many years ago, we had a Silent Hill haunted house. I remember walking through it. It was based off of the video game, not really the movies. And I think that that would be really cool. I thoroughly enjoyed the Silent Hill haunted house. Pyramid Head is absolutely terrifying. The nurses are terrifying. The kind of creatures that you would see in general in Silent Hill are terrifying. And to possibly return to that property would be really cool. Either way, I think it's a win-win. Moving on down the map, we have another unknown original in Sprung Tent 2. I can't really talk too much on that. We can't really speculate on it because we've got nothing to go off of here. Right next door to that unknown original property, we have the picture of a Minotaur. At least that's what we're assuming is a Minotaur. Kind of a half man, half bull type of creature. Now I've heard several rumors when it comes to this haunted house. Starting off with a generic Greek mythology themed haunted house. I think that that would personally be really cool, but the rumor that is really picking up traction and something that I would love to see, kind of piggybacking off of the success that they had last year with their Dueling Dragons house based off of an extinct attraction at Universal Studios, a lot of people seem to think that this haunted house is possibly going to be based off of Poseidon's Fury. That would be really cool. It does fit into the Greek mythology, mythological creatures type of thing that they got going on here with this image. That would be awesome. I know that they could easily pull off a Poseidon's Fury themed haunted house. If they could take Dueling Dragons and turn that into a haunted house, 
they could easily do a lot here with Poseidon's Fury. Does it worry me that they're putting it into a Sprung tank? Yeah, kind of, because if they are trying to bring Poseidon's Fury to life in a Haunted House form, I do think that they need to have the space to create a proper facade for it. Who knows? They could easily create the facade outside and not really have too many big sets inside. I think a Haunted House like that needs space to breathe and to have space to build these massive sets that I would look forward to in a mythological haunted house setting. So who knows what it's gonna be? Either way, Greek gods and mythology, I think that would be really cool. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, our final speculated haunted house on this speculation map has a film reel next to it, letting us know that it is going to be based off of an intellectual property. Now, we have stars and a moon. And again, this was one of those images where I had no idea where to even start with it, so I had to let the community do its thing, and the community came through. So this is not the first time that we have seen this star and moon formation. The last time we saw this star and moon formation was actually way back at Halloween Horror Night 17 for Nightmare on Elm Street Dreamwalkers. Prior to entering the haunted house, they did have a cute video playing that advertised a product called Sleepwell. And the logo for Sleepwell was this star and moon formation. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, my favorite horror slasher of all time, if he makes a reappearance at Halloween Horror Nights this year, I would lose my mind. I love Freddy Krueger so much, my favorite horror slasher. Basically, for those of you guys who don't know, he is a horror slasher that kills you in your dreams. While you sleep, he goes into your mind, takes you over, and finds the most creative and wacky ways to kill his targets. And I think that this would be a really cool haunted house. I would love it if Freddy Krueger made a reappearance at Halloween Horror Nights this year. That would be my favorite house of the year, hands down. So aside from the 10 rumored haunted houses that we are going to get this year, we have five scare zones located throughout the park. We don't have any speculation on those quite yet. And we also have the presence of two shows. Now, starting off with the one that we already know is coming back. It's a given. They've been here for the last several years now. Uh, Halloween Nightmare Fuel. On the speculation map, we have a flame symbol. Halloween Nightmare Fuel, as we all know, uses a lot of pyrotechnics in their show, a lot of flame effects. So it's no surprise that we are most likely getting them back for a, what, third or fourth year in a row? And now, getting into our last show of the event, our second show, we have an image down here at the Animal Actors Theater of all places. We have what looks to be a castle spire or turret, I don't know the right terminology, and we have have a movie reel image next to it. So whatever this show is gonna be, it's gonna be based off of an intellectual property. Now I have heard some wild rumors when it comes to this particular show. The first thing I've heard, Harold and Kumar? What? <laughs> there are a lot of people speculating Harold and Kumar and it's got some credibility behind it, believe it or not. So I don't know how that would work if this is Universal's next generation of Bill and Ted. If it is Harold and Kumar, I hope that it's funny. I'm sure that it is gonna be. I'm sure that there are some wacky and funny things that they could possibly do with this show, but who knows? And on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have the possibility of the return of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Now, one image that I've seen floating around is the exterior of the Rocky Horror Picture Show house or castle or whatever the location is for that movie and story. And it's got some spires and turrets similar to what you would see in this image too. So I really have no idea what to expect when it comes to this show. I am anxiously awaiting official confirmation of what this show is gonna be. Obviously over the next couple of months we are going to start getting official news and confirmation for the event. The very first thing that we're gonna be finding out by the way are the dates of the event. It's been again heavily rumored and speculated that Halloween Horror Nights might actually dabble into the month of August this year starting even earlier than it ever has before. We do know that the event has been expanding a lot over the last couple of years, extending its run to add more and more nights, so it would not surprise me in the slightest to see Halloween Horror Nights extend into August. And nobody can say anything bad about Universal Studios extending Halloween into August because Disney starts their Halloween event first week of August most of the time. It's like first or second week of August and it's already Halloween time. 
But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video talking about the Speculation Map version 1.0 from Horror Night Nightmares. Go ahead and give them a follow on Twitter. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below so that way you guys can keep up to date with all the rumors and speculation on their end. And of course, when anything gets announced for Halloween Horror Nights 2024, keep it tuned right here to the channel because you know we are going to be making videos on it. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you want to see more videos like this in the future for any news and information regarding Halloween Horror Nights make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well drop a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about today's video and what you would like to see at Halloween Horror Nights 2024 I hope you're all having a wonderful day morning afternoon evening and I'll see you guys in the next video